Today, we're in Wintergreen Cemetery in Port Gibson, Mississippi. We're going to introduce you to a Van Dorn. But first, more about the cemetery. Wintergreen Cemetery was founded in 1807 and is one of the oldest in Mississippi. Originally, it was the burial ground of Samuel Gibson, the founder of Port Gibson. It is also the burial ground of Confederate Major General Earl Van Dorn. But we're not here to talk about O. Earl today. I want to introduce you to his father, Peter. Peter is a descendant of Dutch nobility and was born on September the 12th, 1773 in Peapack, New Jersey. He grew up and studied theology and law at Princeton University, graduating in 1795. Peter moved from New Jersey to Virginia. But after his first wife died, he moved to the Mississippi Territory when he was 21 years old. He became a lawyer while in Natchez, but a little later he moved some 40 miles away to Port Gibson, Mississippi. Port Gibson became an important place to trade cotton. Peter grew his law practice in Port Gibson and became circuit clerk around 1810. He became clerk of the Mississippi House of Representatives in 1817. He then became a judge on Mississippi's Orphan's Court. The way I understand an Orphan's Court, you go there to work out problems with probating wills and estates and such. Van Dorn pushed to establish public schools in Mississippi, but this didn't happen, at least not until Reconstruction. The reason I find him so intriguing is that in 1821, Peter, along with General Thomas Hans and Dr. William Lattimore, founded the state's capital city of Jackson. They helped decide exactly where the capital city was going to be located, and they also helped design its layout. They followed sort of a Jeffersonian style. It was sort of a checkerboard pattern where residential lots would sort of be dotted with parks and green spaces. Peter built what we now call the Van Dorn House in 1828. Originally, they called the home The Hill because it's located on one of Port Gibson's highest hills. The home is a brick and cypress structure, and it's constructed with local resources. The home included cutting-edge technology of the times, being the Venetian slates above the windows to help control airflow, and it also had 34 windows containing over 800 panes of glass. Judge Van Dorn also owned a home in Grand Gulf, Mississippi, but it was destroyed during the Battle of Grand Gulf, which was part of the Vicksburg Campaign during the American Civil War. Judge Peter Van Dorn died on February 12, 1837, at his plantation on the Yazoo River. He was buried a short time later here in Wintergreen Cemetery with full Masonic honors. We've been looking around Wintergreen Cemetery as I've tried to tell Peter's story. You've seen the graves of the Confederate soldiers that were killed at the Battle of Port Gibson and generally just taken in this beautiful old cemetery. We have a couple videos about the Major General, Earl Van Dorn, my favorite being the Earl Van Dorn redo. These graves are kind of hard to find. When you come in the cemetery, if you'll turn to the left and walk all the way down to the kind of the front corner, you can run into them. I'm now looking back toward the front gates of the cemetery. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about Peter Van Dorn, one of the founders of the state capital of Mississippi. Thank you.